great as a teacher, right to speak of God. Can you scroll down to us, please? Women and men. Yeah. And um, I was having a conversation with, I, I can't remember the lady's name, who runs the centre. She, um, you know, dedicates her time. Jennifer, that's it. Thank you. And I made a comment mm -hmm. and, and Jen, uh, you know, I used the word perpetrators. And um, Jennifer said that, you know, what we have to understand is that men that abuse have more than likely been victims of abuse. So it was very interesting that you've brought that up. And I think we do need to let people know it's not right. Uh, no form of abuse, whether it's women or men or men on women or yeah. parent on child, uh, not parent on child, child on parent, because we know that domestic violence can take the form of children abusing parents. No abuse is right, but we do have to acknowledge that some men who indulge in physical abuse, emotional and um, financial abuse, even spiritual abuse, which is a, a new character, um, a new category have very often been victims of abuse themselves and that's really really important but that having said that it is still a decision that of course it's a make. choice yeah it's yeah. still a choice yeah because you can also make a choice mm. not to um commit domestic abuse um, yeah. as well so, we can't allow yeah. people to not be accountable for That's their right. actions i mean Absolutely. accountability is very 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 important yeah right so getting back to the book how long did the book take you to write um in the end the book took me two years to write oh, wow. yeah quite a long time because you know that's in between um work i was working full time that's in between raising a family that's in between managing my own you know my own issues as well so um yeah it, it, it ended up taking two years to to write so would you say that like because i thought you were going to say something like six months or so would you say that two years is the average time so from hello nikki so from thinking about a book to actually getting stuff on paper sending it off to um the is an editor yeah sending it off to be yeah. edited would you say that's average kind of time span to well, uh, it, it takes as long as it takes I mean for mm. um, I've had the idea to write a book and the title loving the brothers I've had for at least two decades you know a really really long time originally it was going to be a collection of stories real stories from um, from people who were survivors of domestic abuse that was what the original idea was what changed um, your mind well I was reaching a milestone birthday um, that was coming up, so I was about 48 years old, I, and I knew that I wanted to celebrate my 50th birthday to be a celebration in some way. So um, I then um, decided whether I should, the choices were write a book or do my master's and do I really want another qualification you know do, do I have the headspace for all of that kind Your of book study? is a lot more exciting so um, in the end <laughs> I decided to write um, you know decided to write a book so it was on and off in between but when I met um, my publisher uh, Marcia M. Spence she was very good about making sure that I stick to particular the time plans and time scales in order to be able to get the book published by the time I hit 50. So I guess as well it's about uh, making a decision to write a book yeah. having a plan what you want to write about having good mentors so i That's guess right. you was like a book mentor absolutely. As, as well absolutely i have always had mentors throughout my whole of um, my career and um, now you're going to mentor me yes i am yeah. i just need to decide what it is that i'm going to write about she's hello so Matt. Ideas. she's got so many <laughs> excellent ideas and i think that's that's the problem isn't too it many, where do i start you know, is it poetry you know is it going down a particular route is it um, autobiography that's right. am i going yeah. to write about my dating dilemmas which right. everyone seems to be that's quite interested that's the one I want her to start with yeah. everyone yeah. keeps on asking me to write about my dating dilemmas it's something that I am thinking about so um, the key themes of the book as a reader yes. I thought they were um, new love yes long term relationships yeah. religion yeah. bereavement and family dynamics oh well, most most definitely yeah so yeah. would you say that that's evidence that i actually did read the book yeah Not that you doubted but that also, I read the book. also it's about the you know it's, it's loosely about the probation service yes. you know you have books about social workers you yeah. have books about um police officers you have books about criminals you have but we nobody really talks about the probation service um or writes about the probation the service that, in that, that way and, and we don't we can't really publicize our work either you know if we help 
save a family, for example, um, you know, we can't take out an ad to say, you know, we save um, X amount of families across a year, even though we are doing that kind of, um, you know, life saving work. work. The only time they talk about the probation service is when things go wrong. I think that's really important to say that a lot of work that we do as social care professionals yeah. is life saving work. I know that Pam's got extensive experience in the probation mm. service where she's um, come into contact with both victims and perpetrators, mm -hmm. mainly perpetrators. I don't really like that word, perpetrators. I, I prefer the term people who have made bad decisions, bad choices, and have had to pay the consequences. That's just trying to put a positive spin on it, if you can put a positive spin on domestic violence. Well, you know, the, the, these men didn't just stumble into this. And um, for a lot of the perpetrators who I come across, it's, uh, it's cold, it's calculating. They um, pick the people who they want to abuse, you know, so... Um, you so know, they prey on the vulnerability of well, the woman. Yeah, well, and they also prey on the fact that the woman loves them. Yeah. So they could be powerful women, you know, they <clears> go to work, they command respect. But when they come home, um, it's another story. So some men take the pleasure in breaking strong. Mm. I, you know, I think that's a very, very important important point so just before i continue sharon yeah. fevier is saying that pamela r haynes you made the best decision to write the book i, I loved so. it yeah. and I, you know i would say that everyone that's probably read the book has enjoyed it it's a book that you can't put down i'll definitely say it's a page turner from page one i was absolutely hooked I mean, I think despite it being such a heavy-duty subject, mm. um, I did want to inject some humour in it. So we do have other so well. characters, yeah. who are, you know, around the three main um, women who offer some, you know, some kind of humour. And you're probably one of the first people to get the bit about um, Rose not wanting um, um, her husband to pray when mm -hmm. they got to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of uh, a lot of people haven't really fed that back yeah. to me. But you got that joke. <laughs> She basically wished that she was the one that started to pray because, because he when the like, husband God. starts to pray, he just gets carried on, you know. He gets carried away, he prays for the pilot, he prays for the, Everyone. everybody. But so. when I read a book, like I really read a book and right. I try and like put myself in the place of the characters, right. like to try and feel their emotion. And because of the way the book is written, it's very easy to kind of think what was that character thinking, yeah. what was that character feeling. Feeling. and the way the book was written as well you kind of laugh in all the right places you yeah. know you sometimes feel sad in all the right places yeah. like you yeah. manage to convey the emotions and the thoughts of the characters very very well i mean well. something that happens in the book i actually got a phone call at about two o'clock in the morning and because i'm a bit of a night owl i actually took the call and she was saying oh my god pam did you know that such and such happened in the book and i'm like well, yeah. you wrote the book yeah i do know that <laughs> but they were so moved by the fact mm. that, that we can't fast paced things move mm. and how quickly um, you know they got engaged with the book so it resonated with them and the story that the story does develop very very well um, Pablo we know that you've had some good news recently so you're going to be having a book yeah. signing could you please just tell us